Step one, wake up early, gon' rise with the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, think real hard about what you wanna be. Step four, f everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are be going through all the books I have given five stars. So I'm not going to be talking about every single book because there was a few. I mean, I thought it was a lot worse. And it could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot more, but there isn't. There's 61 books that in my entire time of reading, I have given five stars to. 61. Now, I do not own a physical copy of all the books. Um, but as you can tell by my shelving, I've gone through and I've taken out every book that I do physically own. That is a five star. Um, so whatever I don't know, I'll put some pictures up. But yeah, this is about to be crazy. Um, I have my Goodreads. I have created a five star uh, list on my Goodreads. So if you guys want to check out my Goodreads, it is list down below. You can check out all my five stars, all my favourites, all the DNFs, poetry books I've read and non-fiction books I've read. So yeah, I don't know where to start. Now, obviously, I'm not going to hold up the entire series for this book. Uh, this I'm not going to hold up all the books for this entire series if I can even get the first book out. But obviously, we have the Harry Potter series, guys. The Harry Potter series is, of course, a five-star series. No doubts about it. That is just what it is, okay? We accept it. It's, it's nothing else. Um, I'm not even going to try to put that back in again just yet. That's where we're at. Um, books that I don't own are Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas. I love these. Um, the Hate You Give is such a good one for like a big meaningful message and it is really impactful if you guys want to go and check that one out. Um, I'm going to go through and do the ones I don't own quickly first. <laughs> um, I don't currently have my copy of The Seven Husbands of Anthony Hugo, but that is a five star read. We loved it. It's so good. I think, am I right? It would be turned into like a movie or a TV show or something, possibly, which will be really, really interesting to see. So, keep an eye out for that one. Um, another one that I don't own a physical copy of is, well, I do own a physical copy, I don't currently have it, My Sister on the which is A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sergio Mass. It's the third book in the uh, Akatar series. If you guys have not picked up Akatar yet, you need to pick up Akatar because it's so good. So good. Um, Hidden Figures by Margot Lee Shetterly. Um, again, another really good one, really impactful. It is been turned into a movie, so I do recommend checking out the movie as well. It's actually really good. I actually listened to the audiobook first and then I watched the movie. Um, and it was really like it was so like spot on with what was going on and stuff. And it is so impactful and it's got such a meaningful thing and it's based off a of true story. So definitely go check that one out if you guys haven't already. Um, Full Tilt by Emma Scott. I read this one in a reading Zambox for a week video destroyed me been absolutely fucking destroyed if you want to be destroyed go for it maybe not when you're too emotional but go for it um then by rune nix i've got the third and the fifth book in the dark verse series which is the emperor and the annihilator so good definitely check it out the sixth book and final book is coming soon i have no doubts that probably will be a five star read for me i'm not i, I don't doubt it um be coming out around my birthday time we shall see um, but yeah, definitely check out Runix if you guys have not checked out Runix and go and check out pretty much every author that I mention here. So now we're going to go into my physical books. Now let me show you what it Though all the physical books. So let's get going through them. So I'll start with the top is Aristotle and Dante dive into the waters of the world. So this is the sequel to the Aristotle and Dante discovered the secrets of the universe um so good highly recommend i mean i highly recommend the first book as well but this one something about it just stood out and stuff i start read for me so i recommend this one too um obviously we have the caravel series if you guys have seen i have done a caravel vlog so you guys can go check out all my opinions on the books there we did annotate like crazy but yeah caravel series highly recommend picking up if you guys haven't read that series um we have the two mariana Sapata books that i've read which is from Nicole for love and the wolf winning pygamy she's the queen of slow burn i will not hear from anybody else she is the queen of slow burn she does it so good i love a floppy book as well this is just gonna 
little bit of ASMR for you guys there if you heard it. Um, but yeah, I recommend it. And I want to check out more of her work. Um, so hopefully maybe soon we can have some more Mary's part and maybe do Mariana's part of vlog or something. Okay, clean up those. Um, we obviously have to go for, with the dark romance queen that is H.G. Carlton. Cat and Mouse Duet, Does It Hurt, Shallow River, all five stars. Highly recommend picking up. Um, me and Moore were saying that if you want to start with uh, Dark Romance, um, but if you specifically want to start with H.D. Carlton's work, we recommend checking out Does It Hurt First? Because it is, none of her work is tame, but if you want the tame -er one, Does It Hurt, we said, would be your best shot. Then go into Shallow River. Um, they they do, don't follow along from each other. They're two separate standalone stories. Um, so yeah, so there's those two, and then we recommend going into the Cat and Mouse duet. There is Satan's Affair first, which is a novella. It's a novella, so it's not a five-star read for me, but we then say go into the Cat and Mouse duet. So yeah, me and Moore were talking about it one day, and we said, if you want to start with H.D. Carton, we recommend Does It Hurt, Shallow River, and then go into the Cat and Mouse duet. Um, but if you want to start with Dark Romance, maybe start with the Dark Fair series. That's quite a good introduction to Dark um, Romance. So maybe check that out. Um, then, of course, we have Happy Place by Emily Henry. This is a quite a drastic change from what I've just shown you. It broke me. If you guys watched the vlog, what vlog was it in? I think it was reading summer books for a week. I will link it, but I say no more. I say no more. Um, then we have some TJ Klune books. We have Under the Whispering Door and The House in the Crillian Sea. Again, such great impact stories. These are LGBTQ+. So if you guys are within the community or you want to read some more about it and get involved and be an ally in the community, I recommend these books. These are really, really good and have quite a good family and family aspect to them as well. So I highly recommend picking these up. I'm running out of space. Um, now we're going to go into Colleen Hoover now she's very controversial and I would just like to point out I do not agree with the author and things the author says and does but that kind of does not stop me um, enjoying the work that she's done so I just like to make that clear I don't agree with the author and things that's happened but I can still enjoy her work Does that makes sense we have Verity for Colleen Hoover which just I believe this is her, like one of her I would say her first row, I don't think it's her first row, but this is the one that really popped up in the thriller um, genre for her. Um, it is good, so I still need to read this edition that's got the exclusive new chapter. So, who knew? My thoughts may change on what side I'm on of my manuscript or letter. We shall see. We have Ugly Love. This is quite a beautiful story. I remember picking that up. It ends with us. I love the first book. I didn't love this second book so much it's kind of a bit of a letdown but definitely recommend picking the first one that's definitely good um and for some of these especially dark romance and things do you check trigger warnings guys but to say check trigger warnings if you're going to go into some of these books because there are some triggers i recommend checking before you go into any book just on the place like the safe side november 9 not people love this one um which i can kind of see and i can understand why a lot of people don't love this one but for me i did i loved it um and reminders of him which was quite a nice beautiful story and it was really different um and not quite what i was expecting but i loved it i, I will say now if you guys have not picked up any money and her work you need to okay you need to check out any money no shall sleep some shall break so good this is a ya psychological thriller it's about serial killers and teens or ya late teens getting involved with the fbi solving cases that guys trust me i'm not explaining it well but check it out so good so good um then we have ruth rosie keys the book of form emptiness absolutely love this book i read it in a video i can't remember what video it was because it's like last year but it destroyed me i was crying it's so good again if you want to be wrecked this is what we need you to pick up okay let's see um Phantom Montefiers here and now. This is another one. This isn't really much one of you would really find about, I would say, maybe these days. I don't remember what year this one was published. 2020. So it's not too bad. Well, this edition was 2021, but 
Um, this is a story and it um, is a big representation for dementia um, and bringing awareness to dementia. And I highly recommend picking it up if yourself or a loved one is within the early stages of dementia. I highly recommend picking it up and just reading it because it does give a good representation and it does get show you the process from the mind of someone with dementia as well and what it can be like for them and how frustrating it can be. Um, this had me sobbing as well, so I recommend picking that one up. <laughs> We, of course, have all Lucy school books that I have read. I do want to read the rest of her backlist, but we're not there yet. Um, not that serious, guys. You know, I filmed a vlog, I believe, or you saw me reading those ones, and recently read this one. The annotations. We are destroyed. This one broke me more than I expected. I was not expecting to break as much as I did with this one, but highly recommend picking up if you haven't already. Um, and then buy a friend. I was taken by surprise this one. I was a little cautious at the start. I mean, it wasn't, but then it just, I fell in love with it. So I highly recommend picking up Lucy School's writing if you guys haven't read it as well. Um, I have a couple of non-fictions. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to write non-fictions and biographies. Um, I do because I feel like if they've really impacted the way they're meant to, it's quite nice. I didn't explain that. That didn't explain why I did do it at all. I'm not even going to try then. We're not going to try. We have Jermit you know, Curdy's. I'm glad my mum died. Guys, this one, so good. So impactful. You really feel for Jeanette and you can really see the struggles that she has gone through in her, like, child stardom and everything. So I highly recommend picking that one up if you haven't. And then we got Will by Will Smith. It's quite funny and it's literally written how you would imagine him speaking. Like, you'd think how he speaks and, like, his raps and stuff. And that is literally just how it's written. It's quite entertaining. Um, we then have Sally Rooney's Normal People. This is the only Sally Rooney book that I rated five stars. The other one, I can't remember what it was, and the, another one I DNF'd. So I'm not very I'm very controversial with her writing. I'm very torn. Um, but something about this one just really did hit, and I did really, really enjoy about this one. Some of these I haven't read for a while, guys, so I can't exactly remember my full opinions on them. So don't come for me when I'm not explaining well. So we're doing good. Um, we have the Good Girls Guide to Murder series. I'm so excited for the series TV show that's coming with this. The cast looks incredible. It's going to be so good. I'm so excited. I would definitely be doing a reread of these um, around the time, and I may annotate them as well. So we will do a vlog of that, guys. We will vlog rereading and watching the show. So. Stay tuned for that when that comes. Um, we then have The Book Thief by Marco Suzak. Guys, this is like a classic book. Like this is, if you want to get into reading, you need to read The Book Thief. Okay, so this was originally published in 2007. Um, well, no, 2005, I think. And it's first published here in 2007. Um highly recommend so yeah if you want to get into reading this book i'd highly recommend reading it's so impactful it's based in nazi germany in 1939 so like the war and everything so you need to pick this up a girl and her book it's so good so so good i then have where she went by gail foreman now this is the second book oh i've just this has been destroyed a bit thanks uh, second book to If I Stay. So this is like the follow on and it kind of follows, I want to say three years, there we go. So the, after Mia's accident in If I Stay. So it's interesting to see, you kind of see what happened within those three years and where they are now. And yeah, it's quite nice. There's a nice little round off the story from the first book. Guys, Alicia Fax, Down in the Missing Trees, again, another book that destroyed me. Um, the story you hear it from the uh daughter's point of view you hear it from a tree's point of view a tree speaks to you quite interesting um and you find out what happened back in 1974 and then obviously uh decades later in north london with their 16 year old daughter so you kind of get a bit back and forth in the timeline um i don't want to explain too much because i really feel like you need to go into it to really understand it 
um, but just there's representation in there, there's LGBT representation in there as well, guys. So I recommend checking it out. So yeah. Um, another the book that destroyed me was Pack Up the Moon by Kristen Higgins. Again, I read this in the Sa Rune Sabbaths for a week video. You just go over there to see what happened to me and how much I was destroyed. You can just go there, it's fine. Um, we have the Spanish Love Deception and the American Roommate. We have these two books by Elena Armes. Sorry, this one is Catalina and Aaron. And this one is Rosie and Lucas. So Rosie is Catalina's best friend and Lucas is also Catalina's cousin. So that's how they're connected. Um, so good, both of them. This one is if you know you know this one blew up everybody loved this one and then this one's very controversial not a lot of people love this one but something about it really did just stand out to me and i loved the kind of like the slow burn within it and the way it started as a friendship was really nice rather than kind of being like thrown in there but yeah you have those <laughs> um we have the two madeline millen books that i've read which is the song of achilles of cersei everybody loves song of achilles again for those who want to get into lgbtq this is a really good representation as well as having like that historical kind of vibe with it um and cersei was a really really good one as well and not a lot of people love cersei um but i love greek mythology if you guys have been around my for a while you know i love greek mythology so these two books were just hands down two of the best for me um i have a dear john by nicholas Mark. Um, this has been a long time since I've read this book. I'm due for like a reread at some point. Um, but I've obviously watched the films as well countless times. Um, it's really, really good and impactful. And it shows kind of like the, there's autism representation in there. It shows the effects of war and soldiers being away from families and everything. So highly recommend picking up. And then, of course, we have The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This one is a, like, chronic illness representation of kids with cancer. Um, so I highly recommend picking up if you guys want to cry. <laughs> if you guys want to cry, go for it. Um, we have Daisy Jones and the Six. This one, I have not watched the show yet. I know, don't shoot me. I haven't watched the show yet. Um, I'm kind of a little scared, too. I'm not going to lie. Because I love the book so much, I don't want to get it ruined by the show. So, we shall see. Um, obviously, The Silent Patient by Alex McLeodies. Guys, if you want a twister, this is the one. If you want to get a twist that you don't see come in, this one. And I must say, I do love the way it kind of linked in with The Maidens, which is another one of those books that I've read. Um, yeah. I recommend. If you want a thriller, twisting, psychological absolute mesh with your head kind of book um and then a little different i believe it's actually non-fiction um this is mythology by edith hamilton it's the classic bestseller mythology timeless tales of gods and heroes so again it's great mythology i love it it goes really into detail about all the gods and the warriors and the monsters and the mortals and everything so you fancy that and then of course we have present city House of Earth and Blood and House of Sky Earth. Now, I do not agree with the fact that these are AI done. Um, and the whole thing going on with it, I don't agree with it. But I do love the books. Um, and I'm so excited for Crescent City 3 to come out. We need to know what happens. We need to know what happens. These are chunkers, um, by the way. So, yeah. We love them. Um, but... That is every single book that I have given five stars to. There's a lot. But there's not a lot at the same time. I feel like some people maybe have more. And it could be a lot more. But I've definitely become a lot more pickier as time has gone on. So I, I may find that if I reread re some of these, like, say, Dear John or something, I may find that they may be not five stars anymore. Um, because I've seen my taste has changed since I first read some of these books um, and I've grown as a reader and I read a lot more consistently now than what I used to so you never know some of these could change but either way that is all my five star reads for this video like I said you can check out my goodreads it does have the shelving for that if you guys want to have a look at them and read the blurbs of any of the books within this video and yeah 
I'm going to leave it on that note. Let me know if you guys would be interested in to see all the books I've DNF'd or all the books I've been one stars to or two stars to. Let me know if you'd be interested in like the opposite version of this. Um, and yeah, this little books. Let me know if any of these have been five stars for you or if any of these are actually one stars for you per se. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments. We can have a nice old good discussion about it. Don't forget you guys can join us down at the Wolfpack Book Club as well. We are reading Once Upon a Broken Heart this month by Stephanie Garber getting ready for True Love's Curse to come out so make sure you join us there to discuss all things books and yeah I'm gonna see you guys in my next video I'm gonna now try and put my shelving back together and I will see you guys soon don't forget to keep smiling be kind keep reading bye guys wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day.